Hello everyone, welcome to Falcon Informatic. In this video, I am going to show how to generate random codes using Python. So for that, I am using only one library called Request. With the help of that library, I am going to generate some random codes. So let's move to the program. So here, first I am importing that library. After importing that library, here I am specifying the URL. What is this URL is? With the help of this URL only, I am going to generate or get random codes from particular website. So let's check it. Copy this uh, URL and paste it here. And you can see uh, it displaying multiple contents. For example, codes with respective author. So these two data only we need. Other data are not needed for us. So let's move to the program. And here from request library, I am using dot get function. With the help of this get function, what we are going to do is we are going to send one get request to a particular website. The reason is in order to access any website or in order to get the data from any website, first we need to send a get request. Then the website will accept that get request. Then only we can able to access or able to get the data from that particular website. So for that purpose only, we are using this get function. And you have to specify the URL inside that function. So that's what I did in this line. And after sending a get request, what I am going to do is we need to store that uh, website data in a JSON format. So for that, I am using dot JSON function. So with the help of this function, we are going to store the data in a JSON format. So I will show that uh, first how the JSON format look like. So this is how uh, the JSON format look like. So it's a dictionary format. You can see. Uh, both the key and values are separated by one colon means it's a dictionary so json format looks like a dictionary format so that's what uh, we are seeing here and you can see in order to access this value we have to use this key so we, by calling this id we can access this data so likewise uh, we need this content right so this is the codes so we need this so in order to get this data we have to call this key so likewise in order to get the author name we have to call this author key so that's what i'm going to do and as i said earlier in order to get the codes we have to call the content key so with the help of uh, that content key we can able to get our codes and in order to get the author name we have to call the author key so that's what i did here and if i am running this program means it will display the both the codes as well as the author and you can see so it's displaying the codes as well as the author so this is how it works and if you have any doubts or any queries means please let me know in comment section i will clear that and thanks for watching keep supporting us thank you